Hey art friends, today we're drawing the Stormtrooper helmet. The new one! Alright dude, you got your marker? Yeah! We hope you guys have something to draw with also and you're gonna follow along with us. We're wearing our awesome Art for Kids Hub shirts, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to pick up one of these shirts, we'll leave a link below where you can go over and purchase one. Mm -hmm. You ready to start? Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, we're going to start with our paper vertical. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start with the eyes of the stormtrooper. Okay. And well, the line that goes over the top of the eyes. And that's going to be towards the top of our paper, but we want it to be right in the middle, uh, going left and right. So here we go. And it's going to be a little curved, too. Now we're going to make it a little longer on this end so that it's equal distance to the sides of the paper. Good, yeah. That's awesome. Longer. Maybe a little bit long, maybe just a little longer on that side. And I'm going to go just a tad bit too. Now we're going to draw the top and then we're going to build out the bottom also. So we're going to do a big rainbow line that goes over the top and comes back down to the other side. So here we go. Mine's a little wobbly, but we're practicing. And mm -hmm. if you want to use a pencil so that you can try to get that line just the way you want it, and then use a marker after, that works too. Good job, that looks awesome. Okay, now let's draw one more line that's gonna match this line underneath. So it's gonna run parallel to it. That means it doesn't get closer or farther apart. Good, and I like how you turn your paper sideways. Sometimes that's easier to pull a line towards you. All right, okay, now we're gonna work on the bottom, but we wanna make sure that we get the right proportions. And that means that it's the overall right size. So let's, we're gonna kind of measure this, the, the top forehead part, and we're gonna come down here and we're gonna put a line, so a mark right here, right in the middle, and it's just gonna be a little one. And this is, we're gonna kind of measure out so that we don't make our helmet too tall or too, sh too short. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna come down almost about the same size, the same distance again, and I'm gonna make it a little shorter, and maybe that was a little too short. That's okay. I'll just live with it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put a couple more dots. So this is gonna be where the nose is, the nose piece is, and this is gonna be the bottom of the helmet. But we wanna measure down halfway, so halfway in between these, this distance right here. So halfway, and then we're gonna put a dot, and this is where get, the bottom of the eye is gonna be. And we're gonna be over here, the same distance, that's the bottom of the eye also. So we're doing this so, so that we can have the right proportions. And I didn't put a dot here. That's okay yeah, that I you did. did that, so. But it's gonna. We're gonna go over that with oil pastels, so it'll probably be hidden when we're done. Good job. That's awesome. Nice. All right. Now we're gonna take another dot, and we're gonna come out from this directly out to the side, and we want to be past this line. So right here, it's gonna come down. We're gonna come across. And we're gonna put a little dot out here. And this is going to be for the side of the helmet. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more set of dots. So we're going to go right below his eye and we're going to come down further past this dot, but not too not too much further. Just a little ways. I'm going to put one on this side too, and this is going to be the very bottom of the helmet. So it goes up and comes back down. Okay, now we got our dots in there. We're gonna connect these. So let's draw the outside perimeter of our helmet first. So we're gonna start up here on the forehead line and we're gonna curve out to that dot and do the same on this side. We're gonna curve out to this dot. Now oh, mine looks like a... No, it's good. <laughs> it looks really good because you know, it's gonna be a little bit of an S line. I was just gonna do mine after the dot and I'm glad you did yours before the dot. It's good. Okay, so now we're gonna curve, just like you did, curve back around into this dot over here. And then we're going to curve, now we're gonna curve back up and back down. Sorry, and if we go too fast. Pause the video. Yes, you guys can pause the video. Good job. That's awesome. Yeah, keep going. 
We did it. That was a pretty easy shape once yeah. we got the dots in there. Okay, now we're going to draw the eyes. And let's put, let's come back up here. Let's get one more dot. So we're going to come down just a little bit right in the middle. And this is where his, his nose is going to go up in between his eyes. So we're going to come down from this point right here. Come down and we're going to curve back up and then back down. And then back up. And I'm going to draw this a little different so that the, it's more round down at the bottom of the glasses. Or his goggles. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw another line inside of here. And so it's going to start here. We're going to come around and then it's going to taper into the nose. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Good. Good job. That looks really good. Okay, now we're going to put two more points in there. We're going to do the design that's on his face. Okay. So let's come right below his eye. And we're going to come halfway in between this point and this distance down here. So we'll bring this point out. And we'll come over and we'll put a point. So does that make sense? Draw, if you were to draw an imaginary line over it and then down, it would be halfway in between there. And we'll do the same over here on this side. Got it. Good. That's awesome. Okay, now on both sides of our helmet, we're going to draw a line that comes out towards the edge. And we're going to do that on both sides. Okay, now we're going to come down to this point and we're going to curve back up, back down, and then back into this point. So we're going to make a big W shape. It's going to look like a happy face and a friend. Face. Yeah, all together. Then we'll curve back up, back down, and then back up. Good. Keep going. It looks awesome. Okay, now we're going to come back over here and we're going to draw another W, but it's going to be above this. So let's put a couple more points. We just put a, we're going to have a little gap in between this, the first line we drew, but we're going to draw pretty much the same shape. Okay, so here we go. We're going to come out over here, back up, and then back down, and then back up. Okay, now they have a little they have a little piece right here on this side, and then it, we'll put that same piece over here on this side. Okay, and then we got a little dot over here, a little dot there, and then a smaller one right next to it above it. Okay, now over here, I think there's there's some kind of uh, I don't know a valve or something. So let's do a little circle at the bottom of this one. And then let's do another circle inside of it. And then one more teeny one right in the middle. Okay, and that's, that's a, I think, like a little breathing valve. And then there's some vents down that are running down the side. So let's do, they're going to uh, aim diagonally like this. And we could do, okay, let's do seven of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to do the same over here on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's even looking cooler, dude. I love it with the little details. Okay, now there's another. Let's do another side detail right here. And we're going to do that same line over on this side. Good. Now we're going to do a, a line right next to that one and then connect it in and we can color that since it's a black detail. And we'll do the same on this side.
Good job. Okay, now let's do it. There's a part line, and that just means like a separation between two different parts. So we're going to curve up and make the same shape that we've been making, this little W shape. Come back down, connect it into the valve, and then connect it into that detail. Yeah. Good job. I like how you're being careful. Good. And then connect it right there between the valve and the little part, oh. part line. Good. Okay, we're almost done. Let's do one more of those W's. And we're just going to do it right here on the end of his nose piece. And this is to make it look like it has some thickness. The little nose piece has, it's thick. Good. Just a few more little pieces. We're going to do a little C shape right here and then a smaller one right below it. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. A little backward C and then a smaller one. And then let's put another one up here and up here on the other side since it's symmetrical. It's the same on both sides, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll do one up here on the top and then another one on the other side. Right there. Sweet. One last part line. We're going to do another little line that goes right above this one. We did it, man. He looks awesome. Yeah. We need to get our oil pastels and shade him. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we're going to use light gray and white and a black. And the reason why we're using the lightest gray possible is because we're going to shade with this and we want the helmet to still look white. Mm -hmm. So we don't want it to look too dark. And then black we're going to use for the details. So let's get our gray first. And we're going to just, we're going to shade in the parts that are going to make it look more 3D. And then okay. we'll fast forward with all the blending. Okay. So we're going to go right down the middle of our helmet. And right down the nose piece. Right down the middle of the nose piece. And do, right in the middle, I'm going to do it pretty dark. And then towards the outside, I'm going to get lighter. See that? Mm -hmm. and then we're going to blend that and make it look really smooth. Okay, and then I'm going to come down and we're going to do the little uh, thickness on the, on the nose piece. Okay. Good job. So do a little, little thickness. Yep. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did on the nose down here on the mouthpiece. And this is going to go, we're going to just go all the way through that part line. So really thick in the middle and then fade out towards the outside and do the same on the other side. Okay, now down here, just like we did on the thickness, we're going to shade in the bottom part of his jaw. So we make that little W shape. And then we can also shade in, fill in solid, the little valve. Good. And then a little valve piece. Nice. Now we're going to come up and we're going to do a little shadow on the side of his helmet. And we'll do it on this side. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to shade his forehead. And we're going to come around. We want to make his forehead look round. So we're going to start on the outside pretty dark. And then towards the middle we're going to get lighter. We'll do the same over here on this side. Good job, man. Okay, now we're going to color. We're going to put a little uh, core in the middle of his helmet. So see how this comes all the way up through his nose and then into his forehead. So we put a little dot that's really dark, the spot. And then out from that, we're going to get lighter. Kind of like if we were doing a sun. Like if you were coloring a sun, you do the center really solid. And then towards the outside, we get lighter and yeah. lighter. 
good. That looks great. All right, now we're going to take our white and we're going to blend everything in so it looks nice and smooth. Okay. Let's fast forward right, right now. now. Good job, checkers. It looks really smooth after we go over it with the white, right? Yeah. Looks really cool. Now we're going to take our black and we're going to color in all of the black shapes, which is going to be his, his goggles, uh, this band that goes over his forehead, the little detail that's under his goggles, and then also this W that goes through his nose. Okay. Let's fast forward right, right now. now. The last thing what we're going to do though is take our white again and we're going to add some reflections and that's the cool thing about oil pastels is even though we put the black down we can put some white on top of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same shape because we covered up those black, uh, the sharpie with our oil pastels. I'm going to put his goggle back in there like that and then the same thing on this side. Put it back in. Then I'm going to go over and put in a little reflection in the whole goggle, like that, fill it in. So it looks like gray, really dark gray. Mm -hmm. Good job, now I'm gonna put a little reflection on his headband, and it's just gonna be a little shape right there, and another one on the other side, just on the outside. And then I'm also gonna fill in that little shape that we had in the corner over here on his cheeks. Then the last one, I'm going to go right here, put a little one under his eyes at the very bottom. Okay, one last thing. We'll come back in here and put those the holes that were in this cheek piece. So we'll go back over that white. And then I'm just going to outline those that bottom part that was under his eyes. Checkers, man, give me five. He looks super awesome, and I love how you shaded him because he looks really 3D. Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Yeah. I love this helmet, and I also love the old helmet. We should leave a link uh, in this video where you could go check out that lesson also. Mm -hmm. And you know what other helmet we need to do? Kylo Ren. Yes, definitely. We need to do Kylo Ren's helmet too, just like this, nice and big. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your Stormtrooper helmet with us. Remember, it's okay that your helmet doesn't look perfect. Just practice, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you later, our friends. Stop Goodbye. Friends.